Meta analysis from an automated test. Continuation from the previous video. Alright, so in the previous video, we already determined the final void ratio. Okay, we already plot the compression curve E versus the effective stress. And also, we determine the MV. And then, we calculate the consolidation settlement. So, for this video, we will plot the curve of E versus log effective stress. And also, determine the compression index. And then, uh, calculate the amount of consolidation settlement. So we are still referring to the same uh, example, the same data, alright, but then we already done with question A and also question B uh, in the previous video. So in this video, we will continue with this point C and D here. We need to plot the E, log, e versus log stress prime and then we need to determine the compressibility index and then obtain the consolidation settlement. Okay, now still using the same data so the same table but then we need to add another column for the log stress all right so as you can see here we have another column for the log stress so you can add it at any column that easier for you to to refer okay and then make sure you fill the value for the log stress Okay, basically, when you hit or you press the log zero, you will have the max error here. Okay, but then, um, never mind. I'm just put it zero here in order to plot the graph. Okay, and then uh, we have the log 25 is 1.4 up to log 800.9. All right, so this is only for the uh, loading condition. All right, okay, now the next step once you fill the value for the log stress okay so we have the uh, we need to prepare a graph paper with the y-axis is e and the x-axis is log stress all right and the log axis is the log stress okay now when once you complete uh, when you complete the plot you can see here this is how it look like all right for the e versus log stress Alright, so use suitable scale. Okay, basically here you can start zero zero. Okay, but then to put to make it um to show you the 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 pattern of the graph. So I showed it to zero point seven here. Okay, and then make sure the log stress here. So you can use the normal graph paper. Okay, because we already locked the value, so it become the normal value. Okay. Alright, so what we want to do with this plot is actually to determine the compression index. So we need to determine the compression index from the plot here. So we can use this equation. Alright, you can use this equation. So actually, if you can see here closely, it's actually to determine the slope at the straight portions of the plot here. Alright, so if we have this kind of dotted line here, just to identify where is the straight portion in this plot. So you can see there are few points, okay, including uh, I'm, that I'm pointing here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, and 4. There are 4 points here. Alright, and the line is started from here that it will start to straight portion until the end. So that is our reference because we need to get the slope or the kecerunan at the straight portion. The bahagian yang lurus. Okay. Alright. So the slope of the straight portion is the compression index. So the slope, the straight portion is actually the compression index. So by calculation, so by calculation, so we need to identify at any point. So it's not exactly at the point that I'm showing here. But you can use at any point, for example, here. Okay. Alright. And then, and identify or determine the slope of that point that you have been selected. Okay. Okay. I'm using the point that already um, the data have the value. Okay. <coughs> okay. Alright. So this point the last point is 2.9 at the log stress 2.9 here and another point is 2 log stress 2 okay and then we need to know the y-axis value so 
here at log stress 2 it is 0 0.916 of the E naught and the E1 here is 0 0.776 okay according to the log stress 2.9 here so we can uh, calculate the slope from the point that we have selected actually uh, if you if if you are choose the point that already uh, have in, on the graph paper is actually you can select the value from the table otherwise if you don't have uh, the points in the table so you need to determine the value on the graph manually okay as usual how we commonly do to get the slope for the straight portion okay so now you can get the compression index here all right so 0 0.916 all right for minus 0 0.776 from the y-axis and also over to the x-axis here so you will get the compression index 0 0.156 for the compression index okay then once you have the compression index so we use the compression index obtained in c to determine the consolidation settlement so now again we need to determine we need to calculate the sc but then using different equation that involve the cc value compression index value all right so the sc is consolidation settlement all right and cc is the compression index that we have been uh, obtained just now and in here there are the mentioned the effective stress change from 220 to 360 here and the E naught here so the E naught here will base on the stress naught here so we need to identify what is the E naught based on the stress naught here okay and the H is the clay thickness of soil given in the question in this question is 4 meter so now from this curve okay so now from this curve <coughs> you can use this cc value already calculated and then we have the stress uh, change range okay so the stress node is 220 and the stress one is 360 here okay all right now knowing that the stress node is 220 kilonewton per meter square so now we need to know what is the e naught here okay what is the e naught here okay so to obtain that one from the graph so we need to lock the 220 value first so it become 2.34 so it become 2.34 and then on the graph paper okay identify the point of 2.34 so it is here in the uh, purple color here is 2.34 touch to the curve and then identify the e value from the x at y axis here so you will have that one as an e naught so it, it is 0 0.86 of the e naught here so now we have the e naught we have the log stress one log stress naught and the h naught also the compression index so we can calculate the value this is the this is the compression index yeah previously uh, have been calculated okay so now the sc is the cc compression index so 0 0.156 here and over 1 plus e naught so this is the e naught 1 plus 0 0.86 log stress 1 prime over stress naught prime so we have 360 and 220 here time with the 4 meter or the thickness of the clay layer so now you have the compression sorry you have the consolidation settlement 0 0.072 meter 0 0.072 meter so this is how we get the um, consolidation settlement from the value of compression index okay if we plot the e void ratio versus with the log stress versus with the log stress you can get the compression index and determine the consolidation settlement based on the compression index